But they would scream and beat and throw, do things for hours on end. That was our childhood. I, I, my mom got, I don't know if she was depressed or what the pills were or anything else, but she tried to hang herself in the basement. And luckily the rope broke. My parents were very abusive. Uh, I've been married three times. I was married 13 years to my first wife. We got divorced. I was married 28 years to my second wife. She died of brain cancer. And now I've been married, uh, what is it, 15 years to my third wife. I used to drink a lot sometimes. I was a towboat captain on the river. So I was away from home sometimes a month or two and even more, sometimes three months at a time. My kids grew up probably not knowing me a whole lot. Church was not really high on my list. Um, <clears throat> my second wife, Roxanne, Thanksgiving time. I told my daughter to watch mother at, at Thanksgiving dinner. I said, I think she's coming down with Alzheimer's because she can't remember things and she gets all jumbled and she just, it just, it wasn't her, it wasn't right. So it was right after Christmas, we were watching my granddaughter and my wife got up from the couch and she says, you know, she said, I just don't feel right. I'm gonna go to the doctor this afternoon and see if he can figure out what's wrong with me. So she went to the doctor and <clears throat> she left, I don't know, maybe about one o'clock, something like that. Well, come about supper time, she still wasn't home and I hadn't heard from her. No phone calls or nothing. Wasn't no more than a few minutes later, my wife called and she says, I'm in the um, mental ward in the hospital. I said, why? She said, because I admitted myself. She said, they can't find anything wrong with me and there's she said, I don't, just don't feel right. And she went in, had brain surgery, and I talked to the doctor afterwards, and they said that they took out a tumor about the size of my fist out of her head. She lost a lot of memory. She would go into rages every now and then because of it. She got weaker, and she was on hospice for probably about a month. It got to the point the last two weeks she was alive that I, 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 I had a hard time handling her or getting her in and out of bed and that because she was so weak. And even with my daughter and daughter-in-law helping, it was, it was a struggle on a Friday evening on uh, May 6th of, of 06, she died. I would, I would go out in the yard, out my garden, and look up in the air. And at the top of my voice, I would scream at God, take me. I know what I am. I know who I am. My wife is a better person than me. She does a lot more than I do. She was very crafty. She was good to grandkids, and I wasn't. So I would have traded my spot for her. And as she got, as she got worse, as the cancer progressed, I would go out in the garden and uh, during the day or at night whenever I was home. And I'd do the same thing. Take me. Leave her here. Get rid of her cancer and give it to me. My, my wife now, uh, we have talked about this several times, a lot. And she says, you know, she says, maybe God had something for you to do. That's why you he didn't take you, she, he took her instead. And she said, maybe it's his in, 
it was in his plans for us to move up here to buy this house that we're in now and for you to go to that church and start walking again with God. She said, you know, she says, God's already got this planned out for, for what we do. And this is what he wants you to do. He wanted you to come up here and go to that church and become uh, more of a Christian than what you were. I'm not too much of a reader, so I listen to the Bible on, on, on uh, CDs. Um, I do read a little book, or Daily Bread. I read a page out of that every night before I go to bed. I say my prayers. Since I've been in this church here, in the way that they taught me how to pray in this church, I've done a lot more than I ever did before because now I talk to Jesus and I talk to God. I just talk to him just like I'm talking now. Jesus was human. Jesus walked this earth the same as, same as I do. And when he talked to people, I asked him for help. And at the end of my prayer, at the end of talking to Jesus, I always say, Good night, Lord. Have a good one. Talk to you tomorrow. Amen. It's just that simple. Just talk to God. Talk to Jesus. If, if you have not uh, walked with God for a while and you're, and you're watching this, it only takes a few minutes to talk to him. You don't have to go into elaborate prayers or anything like that. Just talk to him just like you talk to anybody else. He'll listen. And once you start, it'll it'll maybe take time to involve to evolve, but eventually you'll find out what what kind of a great God he is. God loves you. You can love him back.